Luxor is a city in Upper Egypt and the capital of Luxor Governorate. The population numbers 487,896, with an area of approximately 416 square kilometers. As the site of the ancient Egyptian city of Thebes, Luxor has frequently been characterized as the world's greatest open-air museum. As the ruins of the temple complexes at Karnak and Luxor stand within the modern city, immediately opposite, across the River Nile, lie the monuments, temples and tombs of the West Bank necropolis, which includes the Valley of the Kings and Valley of the Queens. Thousands of tourists from all around the world arrive annually to visit these monuments, contributing greatly to the economy of the modern city. Etymology The name Luxor comes from the Arabic al qur lit. The palaces, from the place, of Qasr, which is a loanword from the Latin castrum, fortified camp. History Luxor was the ancient city of Thebes, the great capital of Egypt during the New Kingdom, and the glorious city of Ammon, later to become the god Amun-Ra. The city was regarded in the ancient Egyptian texts as W3ST, which meant City of the Scepter, and also as T3IP3T and then, in a later period, the Greeks called it the Bay and the Romans after them Thebe. Thebes was also known as the City of the 100 Gates, sometimes being called Southern Heliopolis. To distinguish it from the city of Iunu or Heliopolis, the main place of worship for the Godri in the north, it was also often referred to as Niwt, which simply means city, and was one of only three cities in Egypt for which this noun was used. It was also called Niwtrst, southern city, as the southernmost of them. The importance of the city started as early as the 11th dynasty, when the town grew into a thriving city by native Nubia Egyptian. It was renowned for its high social status and luxury, but also as a center for wisdom, art, religious and political supremacy. Montehotep II who united Egypt after the troubles of the First Intermediate Period brought stability to the lands as the city grew in stature. The pharaohs of the New Kingdom in their expeditions to Kush in today's northern Sudan and to the lands of Canaan, Phoenicia and Syria saw the city accumulate great wealth and rose to prominence, even on a world scale. Thebes played a major role in expelling the invading forces of the Hyksos from Upper Egypt, and from the time of the 18th dynasty through to the 20th dynasty, the city had risen as the major political, religious and military capital of ancient Egypt. The city attracted peoples such as the Babylonians, the Mitanni, the Hittites of Anatolia, the Canaanites of Ugrit the Phoenicians of Byblos and Tyre, the Minoans from the island of Crete. A Hittite prince from Anatolia even came to marry with the widow of Tutankhamun, Ankesenamun. The political and military importance of the city, however, faded during the late period, with Thebes being replaced his political capital by several cities in northern Egypt, such as Berbastis, Sais, and finally Alexandria. However, as the city of the god Amun-Ra, Thebes remained the religious capital of Egypt until the Greek period. The main god of the city was Amun, who was worshipped together with his wife, the goddess Mut, and their son Khonsu, the god of the moon. With the rise of Thebes as the foremost city of Egypt, the local god Amun rose in importance as well and became linked to the sun god Rath, thus creating the new king of gods Amun-Ra. His great temple, at Karnak just north of Thebes, was the most important temple of Egypt right until the end of antiquity. Later, the city was attacked by Assyrian emperor Ashurbanipal who installed the Libyan prince on the throne, Samtik I. The city of Thebes was in ruins and fell in significance. However, Alexander the Great did arrive at the Temple of Ammon, where the statue of the god was transferred from Karnak during the Opet festival, the great religious feast. The grandeur of Thebes would still remain a site of spirituality, and attracted numerous Christian monks in the Roman Empire who established monasteries amidst several ancient monuments including the Temple of Hatshepsut, now called Deir el-Bara, climate. 
Luxor has a hot desert climate like the rest of Egypt. Aswan and Luxor have the hottest summer days of any other city in Egypt. Aswan and Luxor have nearly the same climate. Luxor is one of the hottest, sunniest and driest cities in the world. Average high temperatures are above 40 degrees Celsius during summer while average low temperatures remain above 22 degrees Celsius. Summers are long, prolonged and extremely hot. During the coldest month of the year, average high temperatures remain above 22 degrees Celsius while average low temperatures remain above 5 degrees Celsius. Winters are short, brief and extremely warm. Wintertime is very pleasant and enjoyable while summertime is unbearably hot with blazing sunshine although desert heat is dry. The climate of Luxor is extremely dry year-round, with less than 1 mm of average annual precipitation. The desert city is one of the driest ones in the world, and rainfall doesn't occur every year. The air is mainly dry in Lux, but much more humid than in Aswan. There is an average relative humidity of 39.9%, with a maximum mean of 57% during winter and a minimum mean of 27% during summer. The climate of Luxor is extremely clear, bright and sunny year-round, in all seasons, with a low seasonal variation. With about some 4,000 hours of annual sunshine, very close of the maximum theoretical sunshine duration. In addition, Luxor, Minya, Sohag, Kunar and Asayat have the widest difference of temperatures between days and nights of any city in Egypt, with almost 16 degrees Celsius difference. The hottest temperature recorded was on May 15, 1991 which was 50 degrees Celsius and the coldest temperature was on February 6, 1989 which was minus 1 degree Celsius. Economy The economy of Luxor, like that of many other Egyptian cities, is heavily dependent upon tourism. Large numbers of people also work in agriculture, particularly sugarcane. The local economy was hit by the Luxor Massacre in 1997, in which a total of 64 people were killed, at the time the worst terrorist attack in Egypt. The massacre reduced tourist numbers for several years. Following the 2011 Arab Spring, tourism to Egypt dropped significantly, again affecting local tourist markets. To make up for shortfalls of income, many cultivate their own food. Goats, cheese, pigeons, subsidized and home-baked bread and homegrown tomatoes are commonplace among the majority of its residents. Tourism Development A controversial tourism development plan aims to transform Luxor into a vast open-air museum. The master plan envisions new roads, five-star hotels, glitzy shops, and an IMAX theater. The main attraction is an $11 million project to unearth and restore the 2.7 kilometers long avenue of sphinxes that once linked Luxor and Karnak temples. The ancient processional road was built by the pharaoh Amenhotep III and took its final form under Nectanebo I in 400 BCE. Over a thousand sphinx statues lined the road now being excavated which was covered by silt, homes, mosques and churches. Excavation started around 2004. 2013 Luxor hot air balloon crash 19 Asian and European tourists died when a hot air balloon crashed early on Tuesday, February 26, 2013 near Luxor following a mid-air gas explosion. It was one of the worst accidents involving tourists in Egypt and likely to push the tourism industry deeper into recession. The casualties included French, British, Hungarian, Japanese nationals and nine tourists from Hong Kong. Infrastructure Transport Luxor is served by Luxor International Airport. A bridge was opened in 1998, a few kilometers upstream of the main town of Luxor, allowing ready land access from the East Bank to the West Bank. Traditionally, however, river crossings have been the domain of several ferry services. The so-called local ferry continues to operate from a landing opposite the Temple of Luxor. The single fare is 1 LE, 1 Egyptian pound, per passenger for foreigners. Egyptian nationals pay one quarter of that, 25 piastres. 
This ferry is mainly used by the locals although a number of foreigners do use it. Transport to sites on the West Bank are serviced by taxi drivers who often approach ferry passengers. There are also local cars that reach some of the monuments for 25 piastres, although tourists rarely use them. Alternatively, motorboats line both banks of the Nile all day providing a quicker, but more expensive, crossing to the other side. The city of Luxor on the east bank has several bus routes used mainly by locals. Tourists often rely on horse carriages, called kalashas, for transport or tours around the city. Taxis are plentiful, and reasonably priced, and since the government has decreed that taxis older than 20 years will not be re-licensed, there are many modern air-conditioned cabs. Recently, new roads have been built in the city to cope with the growth in traffic. For domestic travel along the route of the Nile, a rail service operates several times a day. A morning train and sleeping train can be taken from the railway station situated around 400 meters from Luxor Temple. The line runs between several major destinations, including Cairo to the north and Aswan to the south. International Relations Twinning towns and cities Luxor is twinned with the following cities. Kazan Lake, Bulgaria, Baltimore, Maryland, United States, Parentons, Brazil, Shenzhen, China, since 1993, Regions Kakatai, Georgia, since 2015, Sites of modern-day Luxor, East Bank Luxor Temple, Luxor International Airport, Karnak Temple, Luxor Museum, Mummification Museum, Winter Palace Hotel, West Bank Valley of the Kings, Valley of the Queens, Medinet Habu, the Ramesseum, Deir el Medina, Tombs of the Nobles, Deir el Bara, Malkata, Colossi of Memnon, Gallery, Luxor Temple from the east bank of the Nile, hundreds of sphinxes once lined the road to nearby Karnak, a well-preserved sphinx, the massive first pylon, the red granite obelisk, the central corridor of the temple, Islamic Mosque over Pharaonic Temple, sitting Ramesses the second colossus inside Luxor Temple, close up of the same colossus, Amenhotep's colonnade from the Peristyle Court, the east side of the Peristyle Court of Amenhotep III, Roman mural in an inner chamber, central corridor and four colossi by night, close up of illuminated red granite obelisk, Sitting Ramesses the second colossus inside Luxor Temple by night. Wall inscription. Northwestern part. The Abu Haggaj Mosque inside of the temple. Hot air ballooning over the West Bank. Station Street in Luxor. Street Market in Luxor. Luxor. The Souk. Pharaonic statue in Luxor Temple. Panoramic view of Luxor. The new Cornish in Luxor. Luxor Temple and Abu Haggaj Mosque. Interior of Abu Haggaj Mosque, Mosque in Manshaya Street.